What's up, Juventini? No rest for the wicked. Juve back in action tomorrow in Champions League against Lille. The injury report for Juve starting to look good. And we also have the report for Lille, which could impact this matchup tomorrow. That has major implications if Juve's hopes for top eight are to remain intact. We're going to go through all that together. And then, of course, Juntoli has done everything except flat out say, yes, we want a defender in January. So he has hinted at it all. Mirko Di Natale brings us a big nugget today saying that contacts have been made with one of our potential targets. Which one? We're going to tackle it all together right now. I'm Berto. This is the AJC, your channel dedicated to Juventus. It's November 4th. Let's rock with the news. And yes, the big matchup is upon us tomorrow with Lille. This one, if Juve's hopes of top eight in Champions League are to remain intact, has to be a victory. And you got to get the three points. On the injury front, we get some good news. Douglas Louise has trained in full with the group and he is on the official squad list for Juventus. Nico Gonzalez, not on that squad list, but while still training individually, does get his training accelerated. And the hopes that he could find himself on the squad list for the weekend's matchup, the Derby de la Mola, are increasing. So some good positive signs there for Juventus. When you look at this squad list, you don't see Danilo. Well, that's because of the suspension that he's going to face because of the red card situation in the Stuttgart match. Kalulu and Gatti pretty much locked in as your center backs for this game tomorrow. Outside of that, Mota will have to make some interesting decisions, especially what you do at the fullback roles. Seeing how Savona is on the back of one his best performance so far with Juventus in that last matchup against Udinese. But his last Champions League start was very, very poor. Now, on the right side, which would be our left, do you go with Cambiasso or Cabal? Because Jegrova, who was linked with Juventus this past summer, is off to a good start this season. Him and Jonathan David playing very, very well. All right, so some interesting decisions Malta is going to have to make. Speaking of our opponent, Lille, and injuries. They have nine on the board. However, three of those are on a day-to-day -day basis and two of them are actually key players for them. Cabela and Santos being those key players and Cabela is on a day-to-day -day basis. These could have an impact on this match, but I still expect a very, very good test for Juventus and we absolutely have to be ready and it will be interesting to see who Malta gives the call to all right now as far as the cavalry goes we know where we stand Juve is definitely looking at bringing in a defender in January we've heard the names of Ortiz we've heard Dragusin now with Dragusin the reports are that yes he does still hold Juventus in high regards, but everything rests on Tottenham. And nobody knows. That is the big unknown. How open they are to actually making this move happen. The other, this is the one Mirko Di Natale states, contacts have been made with the players' entourage, and that is Milan Skriniar. All right, contacts have been made with his agents. There are a couple things that have to happen. Obviously, needs to be a very inexpensive loan. All right, and the fee, the wages, excuse me, have to be pretty much cut in half. Now, the only thing here is he's not getting minutes. His value is dropping tremendously for PSG. So if his minutes don't increase whatsoever and January gets closer and closer and closer, the two things that Juve need to make this happen might actually seem a lot more plausible. So this is going to be very, very interesting one to watch. But Juve has made contacts with Milan Skriniar's entourage. Is Milan Skriniar your top pick to come in? You know the drill. Not only on that, but all the news you just heard. How do you feel going into this Lille matchup? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Join our AJC army. And don't forget tomorrow morning getting hyped up for this game. We are live at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time getting pumped up. As always, fino alla fine, Forza Juventus. Ciao a tutti.